for the New York Times and the International Herald Tribune, this is Susie Menkes in Milan talking to Dean and Dan Caton of D Squared. Dean and Dan Caton are designer twins from Canada who started with denim and with camp provocative shows, but now they do so much more. They've built a serious business and they've dressed the stars. And they've also always been aligned and attuned to music. It's part of their soul and it's going to be part of the summer show in the menswear collections in Milan. What started as a camp romp on the runway has turned into big business. They've celebrated 10 years in fashion, they've got a big backer in Renzo Rosso of Diesel fame, and they've expanded their business to include all sorts of new products. This show started from your Canadian roots, from when you were boys going off to summer camp, is that right? Yeah, it's kind of like the good old memories that we have about summer and what it used to really be, and about you know getting ready and getting prepared to go to the lake and go to the cottage or go to the woods. So this collection is kind of just very, really straightforward and laid back and honest. Right at the beginning, in your earliest shows, you always had music that seemed special, that seemed part of you, that was part of the whole aura of the shows. Still true? Still oh, mad about music? Uh, absolutely. I think, I think it, it, I mean, plus having five sisters that, you know, some were disco queens, some were, you know, um, folk, folk, rock and cats roll, and, uh -huh. and then rock and roll brothers, and then my dad listening to, uh, uh Engelbert Ingo Humperdinck, we have the <laughs> whole, 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 we have the whole, range of musical culture built into us. And this show is about feel-good, summertime, radio music. Sing-along. Sing-along music. Of course your roots are in jeans, and a lot's happened to denim, premium denim, all sorts of things. What does it mean to you now? I'm going to tell you a funny story about denim and us. Uh, our father was poor, and in, while we were growing up, denim was huge in the 70s. But denim was in his, his brain for poor people. people. He forbid us to wear us. denim because he didn't want the people to think, think that his children were poor. poor. So we had to wear dress slacks. So I think that's why now we have this love for denim because we couldn't have it as kids. But where is denim going now? We had that whole premium jeans thing, incredibly expensive. I think people are off that idea. What makes your jeans special? Why should anyone buy them? Well, I think denim, for the first thing, is like an ongoing life long classic. I mean, I can never get really tired of it. I think what makes our special is we put that extra care into it and try to make it look authentic. If it's going to be have an old look, it has to look authentically old. So I think that's definitely why it's a key in our collection. It's kind of like, like you said, our roots. Now I want to know about all your new projects and especially I want to know about this show you're doing. It's on Bravo TV. It's based on fashion. It's called Launch My Line. Uh, it will air in September, and basically what it is is a challenge show where the hosts and the judges, you know, the person that's still standing, will have their line made and produced and sold across America. And we have a lot of design duos in fashion, from Dolce and Gabbana upwards and onwards. But you're not just a duo, you're brothers and you're twins. What's it like to work together? He's natural. <laughs> we I mean, were born together, I mean, we grew up together, I mean, we really know each other, so it's kind of... Um, there's a lot less dialogue because just from like a glare or a glimpse or we understand each other. And aren't you taking part in the Winter Olympics in Canada this year? Yes, we are. <laughs> we happen to, um, the, the Winter Olympics, they will be in Vancouver and they've asked us to do the opening and closing ceremonies. So that's a pretty big deal too. So Canada's kind of like waving hi to us a lot right now. And we're really we're proud to be Canadian. And it's a great honor for us to do that. And here we are. Thank <laughs> you.